Hello everyone. So we have finally reached the number of 100,000 subscribers. So in order to celebrate, we're going to do a couple of fun experiments today. And then as a finale, after we do a few experiments, we're going to try igniting this. Now I took inspiration to make this play button here from Cody's Lab's latest video. In that video, for reaching 1 million subscribers, he makes a play button out of cesium and then throws it into a lake. And so here, this play button is made out of potassium, nitrate, sugar, and magnesium. Here's just a little bit of this stuff and you can see how combustible it is. And so my guess is that this play button is going to make some pretty decent looking flames. If you're curious on how I made this fuel, it's about six parts potassium nitrate and four parts sugar by weight. And so then after that, I just mixed those together and put them on a burner to caramelize. And then after caramelizing, I poured it into shape and then put on these magnesium strips here. I have quite a few of these lithium batteries, so let's go ahead and stick it in the microwave and see what happens. Now when I put this in the microwave, I'm going to put this tin foil on it, just because then it will have a potential of arcing to the things around it. And so let's see if that's enough to explode the lithium battery. So I'm not actually able to get anything happening inside the microwave with the lithium battery there. So let's see if we can get anything with the microwave gun we made. Now this microwave gun we made gives off enough energy to pretty much destroy any electronic device that you pointed at. And so let's just set a battery on one of these tables and we'll see if it will do anything to it at all. So yeah, once again it looks like we're not really getting much onto the battery here. So let's try using this little guy next. As you can see it generates quite a bit of voltage here. In fact, this is around 60,000 volts. Okay, I'm wearing my goggles in case it explodes. Let's go ahead and test it out. Oh. So it could be perhaps the lithium battery is dead because that's quite a bit of voltage running through it. Okay, now let's go ahead and test it onto this larger lithium battery. Okay. So it's definitely going through the battery. So that experiment was a bit of a failure. However, in order to light the play button soon, I'm probably going to be using something similar to this to light it from a distance away. And so here I have a little bit more of that material. Let's place it here and try lighting it. Yeah, okay, that should definitely work fine. Oh, look at that. Look at that electricity through the smoke. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, let's try something with a little bit more juice to it, per se. So this actually outputs only around 2,000 volts compared to those 60,000, but as you can see, the amps are quite a bit higher. So it actually arced back and hit the coil here, so hopefully that shouldn't be too much of a problem as we move forward. Now, of course, this thing right here, if it shocks you, will most likely kill you, so you gotta be kinda careful around it. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Well, it looks like the batteries still aren't going to be exploding anytime soon, sadly. Well, I guess if those experiments failed, let's go ahead and move on to the main attraction, which is going to be igniting this play button here. Okay, so now I'm outside inside of a parking lot, so hopefully we should be able to light it off here. To ignite this, I'm going to be using that high voltage that we were using just a second ago, and that's going to be powered off my car. And so I'm going to go ahead and set this up and put the arc lighter next to it with wires running away, and then we'll go ahead and give it a try to ignite it. Well, it's a little bit later now, as you can probably tell since it's night outside, but I do kind of think that that was pretty interesting, especially how it got its own thrust and sort of pushed itself in this weird direction. As some announcements, yesterday I did finally get a P.O. box, so I'm going to be leaving that in the description, so if you guys send me letters or anything like that, I'm going to hang them up on the wall back here somewhere, and yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Anyways guys, thank you so, so much for everything you guys have done. 100,000 subscribers, that's quite a lot of people. That's way more than I'd feel comfortable talking to in person, but I'm, at least I'm just talking to a camera right now, and then the camera is talking to all you guys, sort of, kind of. But it amazes me that so many people out there like my content and are wanting to learn more about things. 
And guys, that literally means so, so, so much to me. Thanks to you guys supporting me and watching this channel, I've been able to do so many more things than I would have been able to do otherwise. So guys, please let me know if there's any experiments you'd like me to try or anything you guys would like me to teach you so that I can better help all of you. Anyways guys, I know that sometimes I speak a little bit fast and so I'll try to talk a little bit slower in the future. If you guys enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a thumbs up as it helps so, so much. And I hope to see you guys next weekend in the future for more science videos. So guys, please remember to be safe and have a wonderful day. And then after we do our first, after we do our first few experiments to, and then as a finale after we do our first exper, here's just a little bit of this stuff and you can see how combustible it is. And then you can pause it and have a million pictures. It's like pictures. a million pictures. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You could just have a video of a smoldering. <laughs> the smoldering. Rockets and candied. Oh, you guys are too close to show up. I still am just filming your legs. <laughs>